Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat World again. Thanks for stopping by and just remember, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, feel free to take a look at some of my other BF4 videos if you like. You can find them all in a playlist in the description down below. But anyway, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a topic that I know a lot of you guys are interested in, which is the idea of another Battlefield game set in the Cold War. And the reason I thought I'd cover this one now is because we should be expecting an announcement about Battlefield 5 in the next few months. There's already been some speculation about the game being set in World War One, and even in the future like as a sequel to BF2142. But I think considering most of the community would like to see a new game with modern weapons, I think both of these are pretty unlikely, which makes you wonder, what will BF5 actually be? Well, a lot of you guys in the past have commented on my videos and told me you wanted to see a BF5 set in the Cold War, which I'll admit is a pretty cool idea. And sure, this would mean more or less similar kinds of weapons and maps to what we already have in BF4, but in saying that, I still think it's pretty unlikely. You see, one of the main focuses of BF4 is on player customization, and it's only in the past few decades that weapon attachments have become a common thing. So in other words, I don't think a game set in the actual Cold War would allow for this, and we all know from Battlefront what happens with a lack of customization these days. Now, with that being said, something that I think is far more likely is the idea of an alternate Cold War timeline set sometime after the Vietnam War. Because the best thing about an alternate timeline is that you don't need to be 100% accurate, and yet you still keep the fans happy with present day gear. I mean, that's pretty much what BF4 and games like Armor 3 did to freshen things up with a theme in the very near future. So instead, what I'm suggesting is that they just go in the other direction like Wolfenstein did, for example, which is now set in a kind of high-tech alternate timeline of the 1960s. Just to make it clear though, I'm not saying I'd like to see Battlefield games set in an alternate post-apocalyptic theme, although I'm sure this could be a pretty cool idea. What I actually mean by this is that I'd like to see a game set in the 80s or the 90s, where, for example, NATO and the USSR are fighting over the Persian Gulf. So in other words, even though I'm all for the idea of an alternate Cold War timeline, I'd like to see the game at least try and mirror the actual historical events. And by that logic, considering both of these superpowers deployed in that region at the time, I think the Middle East would be the obvious place to set this kind of game. Now, just to give you guys a better idea of why I think this idea would work, but an actual Cold War theme wouldn't, let's take a look at some of the gear. And here, as you can see, while well, quite a lot of the popular guns in BF4 entered service after the Vietnam War had ended. The reason the Vietnam War is important is because it was the last major conflict of the Cold War big enough to actually base a game like Battlefield on. So basically what I'm saying is if they don't decide to be historically accurate to the Vietnam War, then they're pretty much making up their own alternate timeline anyway. So the question is, why is it worth going back in time if it's been shown that games like BF4 and Armour can successfully go forward in time? Well, because a lot of cool gear used by military forces in the Cold War is now considered obsolete. If you take a look at this list, you can see there's quite a few weapons that don't make sense in BF4, but would definitely be part of a Cold War theme. And sure, we would lose a lot of the more modern guns if they went back in time, but unless they stick to the same old present day theme, they're going to run into this problem anyway. So all in all, to finish up, it's anyone's guess as to what theme we're actually going to see from BF5, but I think we can safely assume it won't be far from a present day theme. Because if it is, like what happened with Hardline, I think it's going to upset a lot of the fans, which is something I don't think EA would like to risk again. And like I said, I don't think there's enough real world content that hasn't already been covered to steer the franchise in a fresh new direction. So in my mind, it's not a question of if they will, but whether they'll choose to go into the future again, or whether they'll go for something new like I said, and try out an alternate timeline in the past. But anyway guys, I'm sure you've got an opinion on this one, so let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also, check out the links in the description below if you want to see any more of my videos or if you want to support my channel on Patreon. And until next time, see you later and have a good one.